So this is going to be a quick proof of concept video just to show that it's possible to estimate the distance as well when you're doing bastion binoculars by uh, changing your render distance value and looking for spikes. Um, so just to show that it's possible uh, and and also how I do it. And this is good nether for, for this by the way. Not scripted. So yeah, there's a large spike here right away. Yeah. Let's narrow down where the bastion is. So I start by halving my render distance. I see a pretty significant drop, so let's increase it again. No increase in the entity that time. Increase it more. Nothing again. More again. Yeah, huge jump. That is very convincing. Usually, usually you don't see that big of a jump. Wow. Yeah, this is super convincing. 17. So 17 is the value. And now you gotta... Entities are rendered one chunk less than this, so... The distance to the entities is actually 16 chunks. So 16 chunks is 256 blocks. So that's the distance, but it's more to that. Uh, entities are rendered in a square region which means that it's not 256 blocks in the direction I'm looking. It's 256 blocks in the dominant direction, which is negative z. Which means I need to subtract 256 from my z coordinate. So I should go in this direction until my z is uh, negative 254. And uh, now that we have the optimal render distance, we can also use this to narrow down the angle more accurately. So I'm just looking for spike and uh, guessing it's around here. So I'm just gonna go in this direction until my z is negative 254. And yeah, works pretty accurately. Obviously a bastion is kind of big, and I got it in the middle this time. Usually you don't get it exactly in the middle, but yeah, it can be anywhere in the bastion. So yeah, that's it.